Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the Great War Redux mod, in which we're playing as the Tsardom of Bulgaria. Now, we will leave historical AI focuses on, and let's see, AI behavior default, as well as major nations, pretty normal. This is because it's been a while since I've played the Great War Redux mod, and I want to see what maybe could happen. Besides, I've never played as Bulgaria before, so, the mods that we're using obviously is the Great War Redux mod, Colored events, state gesture tool mod, as well as player that peace conferences. So one, two colored events. Yeah, there's four mods in total. So we start off with an okay army. We have a total of three research slots, and oh my goodness, what is all this? Construction speed? Why not? We're gonna need. Ooh, I'll be honest. It's been quite a while since I've actually played with this mod. I'm going straight in, and hopefully we can do well. Land auction. Cult of the Offensive, huh? More breakthrough is pretty nice. Cavalry is not bad. Soft attack, reinforce rate. Ooh, organization. Max entrenchment plus five. Mass mobilization. Is this something that we really want? I don't mind getting more defense. Tanks, stuff like that. Mass mobilization, though. More Less supply consumption, better reinforce rate. More population, which is something that we could really use. Now, we are playing as Bulgaria, so we will not have that much in terms of industry, which is something we got to keep in mind in keep our mind. You know what? We're going to need that manpower, probably. Maybe? Probably? We'll go, we'll go down this path. Cult of the Offensive. Why not? Why not? We're going to... I might come to really regret playing this. But hey, that's just me. We'll see what happens. Let's see. We got some guns, which are nice. We have four factories. We got to get some artillery and at least no planes. Okay, then. Gun-wise, how are we doing? Do we even... Well, we can't really build anything. There you go. And focus. Why not? Now, we can do a new Balkan Power... Continue the militarization. We go to extensive conscription, which is kind of wild. Bonus for land doctrine. Oh, 5% more recruit population? Nice. Wow, we're going to be recruiting quite a bit of our population, which is fine with me. Fine with me. Anything here interesting? Mass assault, superior firepower, land doctrine. Uh, Balkan Prussia, which I like that organization. Naval stuff, air stuff, we can probably kind of ignore that. I'd like to do some industrial stuff already, but... Start industrialization? That didn't look like it hurt, helped you that well, or that much, I mean, I should say. I prefer this one, more monthly population, less supply consumption. Uh, let's see, minus 5%, minus 5% as well, huh. But let's go with new Balkan power. The third Bulgarian Tsardom was established on the 22nd of September, 1908, when the Bulgarian state was raised from a principality to kingdom. Ferdinand I has military plans for the unification of all lands in the Balkans region with an ethnic Bulgarian majority. So, we have some horses, which are not great, and some infantry, which is okay. Not ideal, but we will improve our nation nonetheless. Go, do, go high. Very good. This is probably not going to be an easy campaign. Especially with this many divisions. Or this, I should really say, few divisions. Ivan, attack. Vasil Kutin Kutinchev. Cool, we'll use you. General for the infantry. Shall be led by Nikola Zekov? Why not? And then... Horsey boy, Ivan Kolev. Now, I'm not a huge fan right now of the Ottomans. So they may or may not need to have a, a reckoning, we'll say, eventually. Now, eventually, of course, we will need more divisions to help defend against all the potential other Balkan nations. But we do get 1.41 political power every day. And we get a national spirit, we get more political power. But we do have a higher cost for our political advisor costs. Economy laws costs, trade laws, conscription laws, which is not great. We're on early mobilization, which... Could be, could be worse. It could be civilian economy, so that's not terrible. I would like to get that uh, comment cited, though. Our astronomers predict another approach to the Earth of Halley's Comet. Every 75 years, this celestial body marked the beginning of disasters and scared uneducated peasants, but modern society seeks to study this cosmic phenomenon. And modern observator observatories and cameras will allow you to make high-quality images. An interesting phenomenon. We could hold some stability at the South Africa Act. I just hope we can do well. we got to get military theorists as well. Wow, this is going by really, really fast. Holy cow, look at the time. Holy smokes. Maybe it helps that not every country has a unique focus tree, but every country does have one. A generic focus tree, I should say. Look at that guy. Look at all how regal Ferdinand looks. I like that. So the first one we're actually going to go for is... Mm, I'm going to say still on recourse, just because even though I want more daily army XP gain, I think we'll be okay for now. Probably. Probably. 
Besides, that'll probably boost us up almost to two, so new Balkan power. Thank you very much. Anti-Ottoman diplomacy. We need to set about forming an alliance with Greece and Serbia and put aside the rivalries to plan a joint attack on the Ottoman Empire. Let's go and do this. And now we have a total of 1.72 political power today, which is not bad. So we've got about 0.3 more, which is, at least in my opinion, pretty good. And then we'll grab military theorists. Uh, Ferdinand, King Ferdinand, up in the airplane. First monarch to do it. Why can't we get, like, 1% more stability? We read about a comment about stability for the entire world. Ooh, Japan, Korea, annexation treaty, huh? Why don't we get one for Ferdinand? Hmm. Curious. Japan. Wow. Mut Mutsuhito. Let's go. Japanese expansionism. Oh, oh boy. Does this unique book history war in Europe? It might be, yeah. Is it high revolution? Pro-British strategy. Huh. Maybe we'll play as Japan sometime in the Chinese Empire led by Zai Feng. Uh, I have a good feeling that China's going to be falling apart here relatively soon, but uh, that's just me, especially on historical. That's just probably me. That's probably just me. Cool. Do we have any guns? Any spare guns? No, we don't. We have minus 2,500. Hmm. And we have no. Re we have literally no resources. Maybe except for three steel that we're currently already using. Wow. Let's see. Retention base. 10%, 10%. 5% more base. I, I kind of like that. Let's go with that one. Dispersed industry seems like fun. We could improve worker conditions, but 80% is already pretty good. Do we get any more stability through our focus street? Confront Great Serbia. Treaty of Friendship. Huh. Signing a treaty or a secret treaty with Serbia will help us in the liberation of our rightful lands from those auto boys. Yeah, we currently have. Oh, not bad. That's not bad every day. And we got. I love political power, man. Love it, love it, love it. Let's go and grab you. Good, good, good. So political advisors, these guys are all okay. Captain of industry is probably the guy we're gonna go with. Backroom backstabber, maybe. Definitely more stability though. Do you have anything unique here? I mean that's one unique name. Parnik Complex. Sophia Artillery Arsenal. Doesn't really look like these things are too unique. That's alright. But you know, it would be nicer if they were. Land forts might be worth building up. Armored cars are okay. We could grab that. How is our weaponry? Hmm. It is 1910, so motorized, little truckerinos, why not? And actually, engineering, yeah, that's a little bit ahead of time. Reinforce rate, research speed. Revolution in Portugal, the monarchs have to be careful. Yeah, they must, must be careful. All right, horsey boys. So eventually, I do want to use motorized, mechanized. I'm not sure if we'll actually be able to use that. Increased chance of executing blitz and encirclement tactics. Uh... These guys will eventually... Do we have anyone... I don't think there's anyone who has Panzer Expert, right? Eventually, I would like... I'm going to go with Cavalry Expert for now. You know, I'm going to go with that one. Just in case. For the future. For the future. We look to the future for success and love. and Maybe not love. But close enough. Alright. Honestly, we might as well just go free trade. Because we have, like, no resources anyways. So... We could do that. I could import... Let's get at least one more steel for now. I think that'd be okay, because we only have one extra spare one. At least let us build guns and such as much as possible. And help us out with support equipment, artillery, good, good stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and actually do this first, so we get a little bit more stability. And then I'll probably go ahead and grab popular figurehead for 15% more stability. Yes, good thing, uh, Siberia. Now we can choose other stuff. I'm going to go Urbanization Sophia. Interesting focus description, more infrastructure. Treaty of Friendship and Alliance between Bulgaria and Serbia. His Majesty Ferdinand I, King of the Bulgars, and His Majesty Peter I, King of Serbia, thoroughly convinced of the common interests and the common destiny of the countries and other brother nations of Bulgarian and Serbian peoples, and being resolved firmly to defend these interests with their united forces and to endeavor to pursue them to a happy conclusion, have agreed upon the following. The Kingdom of Bulgaria and the Kingdom of Serbia, mutually and reciprocally, Guarantee the political independence and territorial integrity of each other, agreeing absolutely without exception of any kind to support one another with their entire strength in any case where one of the two kingdoms may be attacked by one or more states. The two contracting parties agree to also aid one another with their entire strength in case any other, any one of the great powers shall attempt to annex or occupy or take military possession of, even temporarily, any part, whatever, of the territory of the Balkan Peninsula, now under Turkish domination. If one of the contracting parties believes this action to be injurious to its vital interests and a casus belli, together for the liberated Balkans, Absolutely. Now, I could increase the strength of our divisions by increasing or putting on a, another infantry battalion, but I'm going to wait. Mostly because we have no guns, which really, really sucks. But it's already December 7th, 1910. Did they... How did... Is this mod, like, sped up or something? 
I can almost never get through any game in a year in around 10-ish minutes. Roughly 10-ish minutes. Holy cow, we are going fast. 82%, good. I'm going to go ahead and grab the guy who gives us more stability. Just because stability is great. Love it. Ah, 97%, yes. Even more weekly change. All we need is 3% more. Six more weeks and we'll have it. And we'll definitely have that with... Um, what is this? The Siege of Sydney Street. Oh, if you want to read about that in London, go right ahead. 332 days divided by 7 is more than 6. That's all I know. Happy 1911, though, everyone. It's really fast. I love it. I love this mod. Man, I'm coming back to the Great War Redux, maybe. Oof. Almost 1.8 a day. Now, eventually, there's going to be no point to have this much political power, but whatever. I'd like to go here. Ooh. Go ahead and train. Unification of Sofia. Now, I did say I probably want to go this side. Start industrialization. It just doesn't seem like it's really worth it. You get 3% more efficiency growth, production base. And then, basically, you get 2% more on each one, which is not worth it. This one, less supply consumption is only 5%. More monthly population isn't that great. But then you get minus 5% down there, so... I don't really see a point of doing that. Let's get some fortifications, too, just in case. Just in case. Uh, Garen economy? Yeah, why not? Oh, another great description. Monthly population, consumer uh, supply consumption goes down, which is great. Obviously, I don't think we'll have too many issues with supply, but we'll see what happens. Now, we might want to save up some political power. Because there might be, eventually, more and more world tension. And I want to get to partial mobilization as fast as possible. It's only 1911. And doesn't Italy eventually go to war with these guys as well? Scramble for Africa. Can't release nations, huh? I have a feeling they go to war with the Ottomans, don't they? Ban far-right parties. Lose stability. Press censorship. Well, we are not aligned. House of Saxe Kohlberg and Gotha Kohari. Motorized. Is there anything here? I definitely... We got... Ooh, engineers. Mmm. Field hospitals might be really, really worth it for us. Armored cars. I definitely want to get armored cars so we can eventually get to tanks and such. But that's going to be quite a while. We have no planes. We need aircraft engines. So, let's come over here and get aircraft engines and 1% more research speed, which would be pretty good. I didn't choose that first just because it's only 1%. It's not going to help us an extreme amount, but I'm still going to use it. Electronics. Industrial. Definitely industrial. Cavalry raids. This is not going to be an easy campaign, especially with Bulgaria at secondary power at best. I don't think we actually hold on. Now, there's a reason why I want to play Bulgaria. Actually, I didn't know this before I actually started looking at Bulgaria in the Great War Redux mod, but <clears throat> restore a certain nation down here. That seems kind of like a lot of fun. But, anyways, expand civilian industry. We get a whole one! One! Civilian industry, or factory, I should say. How great! 232, fortifications one. That's alright. Alright, so this stuff is way too ahead of time. Resources. I mean, 10% of 3. It's not much. Let's go grab even more research speed with diesel generator and battery. Cavalry raids. Large scale warfare. More soft attack and reinforce rate. Yes, please. Alright, so how much artillery do we have? We have an okay amount. These guys, we definitely want to put some support artillery on these guys first. Minus. You know what? Minus 50 isn't bad. I, I can deal with minus 50. We make, like, almost none a day, but that's alright. Oh, King Ferdinand. I want it. Man, we're gonna get a hat like that. And we're gonna get a beard like that. Man, I need... Hmm. I love hats. So, what is Serbia up to? Officer staff training... Oh, I, got, I need a mustache like that. Whoa. Now, eventually, they will want to uh, ally with us or go to war, but we'll see what happens. We got that stuff done. It's 1911. Great year for a great gun. We could grab that. We could grab that. Uh, go and grab some support weapons first, probably. I'm not making any cavalry yet, but that's alright. With me... Let's cut down them by one. How many guns are we out? Actually, we're looking a lot better on guns. Minus 1100. That's not too bad. I do want to make sure our cavalry are a little thicker, so that'd be good. Material designer... 
Artillery is nice, but weapons research speed is probably the way to go. Just because there's more research you can do in that part of the uh, research stuff. So, Land distribution. We'll do extensive urbanization just to get a little bit more infrastructure first. Obviously, I'm ignoring fighters. Do we even have a navy? We don't even have a navy, so there's no point to even research it, right? The great mighty Bulgarian navy? Mm, I don't know, man. You guys have to be at least 10 combat with, at minimum. Nice. Mm, go ahead and grab this. This is pretty necessary. Cool. Now we're minus 1,500? Uh, 1,200. That's not too many more guns, right? Not too many more. Oh. What do we have here? Motorized. Yeah, I'll make some of those when you can. France occupies Fez. Another infantry division. Keep them coming. Actually, you know what? We're going back up to th three. Because we're just going to need as many as possible to help hold the line wherever we're at. Sulipin assassination. He was proud to serve the Tsar. More than halfway done with that already. Wow. 30 August. Now, have I, I don't think I, Have I played as the Ottomans in the Great War Redux? I don't think I... Maybe I have? Maybe not. Coup in Egypt. Mona Lisa has been stolen. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe I have. Maybe I haven't. I don't know. Hmm. Socialist uh, Ottomans when? Maybe eventually. I don't know. All right. Oh, there we go. Italy's declared war on the Ottoman Empire. Very good. Land distribution. Well, we might as well keep going down this way. So we need to win the war against the Ottomans first to go down here. So land distribution. We might as well. Italian invasion of Libya. Very nice. And so we got to wait for that. We put all the followings. We can't do that. So at least this sets us up to expand when we're ready to do so. Special armor reformer. More political power gain, but less army XP gain. More division defense would be extremely helpful later on. Uh, roads, planes, stuff like that. Infantry attack and defense. There's there's no question we got to get that. Wow, we're running out of manpower already. Wowzers. Wowzers and Bowsers. Actually, there's no guarantee that we can actually get down here either. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that actually hurts the construction speed, output, and training time. Whoa. Support weapons 1 are nice. It's 1911 still. Let's grab... What do we grab? Radios? Let's grab radio. That is not ahead of time? No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, why not? Seems like a good idea. Land distribution. How are the Italians doing? Well, they've landed and done very well. You guys are still training, huh? Oh, yeah, you're almost done. Oh, do you have any upgrades since we've had so much time here already? Agadir Crisis, preparing for the worst. What do they need? Charismatic. I might wait for more slots to be filled first. Yeah, just get more divisions because attack isn't great, but defense is really nice. Agadir Crisis averted. We can breathe a sigh of relief. Mm. And just, just finished off some eggnog flavored coffee. Oh, China. Uh, the ROC. If only. Sun Yat Sen. Oh, Sun Yat Sen. Stand with to Tong Meng Hui. That's cool. Yeah, I definitely gotta play as China someday. I said I would before, and I will. I'm just not sure when. The s oh, the second Chinese Empire. Sign me up. Retake Mongolia. Born of the Chinese Communism. Revival of the KMT. Land distribution. Don't, don't mind me. Alright, so we're done with that stuff. We're done with this stuff for now. There's nothing down here we can do. We can go left, or, you know, Constitutional Monarchy, or Socialist Victory, but... Meh. Air Doctrine, Early Fighters, yeah, that would be good. Black Sea Provinces, we don't really need that. So, continue militarization. Do we really want to do that? That hurts our construction speed, and it's already not great. Yeah, we have to. Uh, really not a lot of focus tree descriptions, but that's alright. Wow! What happened here? Ooh, French into China. Oh, you have your... Oh, we got a lot of resistance. Dysfunctional government. Do they have a... I doubt they have a unique focus tree. No, they don't, but that'd be kind of cool if they did. Go and stand with the Central Powers. That'd be kind of wild. All right, so after this... Chief of Army, Old Guard. Anyone else we can use? Plus air support. Artillery is probably the way to go, yeah. Because I do want to throw in a lot of artillery on our guys. It was a surplus, finally. 1,400, not bad. 17 divisions. 12,000 and a half manpower, not bad. 
Actually, can I send volunteers? No, we can't send volunteers because we have less than 30 divisions. Oh, there they go. That is honestly kind of ugly. But whatever. It's almost 1912. Drop some military, please, because we're going to need them too, probably, when we take some land. And we're going to need to help suppress peoples. Oh, come on, forget. Actually, I'm going to duplicate you and just call you already garrisons. Just in case we don't forget. There we go. We have no occupied lands yet, but hey, we're getting there. So soon-ish, we should be able to go to war with the Ottomans. I'm going to give that more research speed, that's fine. You know what, we're going to do action instead. You guys are going to hold the front line while the 10 combat with are going to do their best to break through to Adrianople. The Balkan League Serbia is preparing for a war with the Ottoman Empire and offered us to take part in the liberation struggle. They sent diplomats who also conclude a military treaty and define future boundaries of the Balkans. This is a great chance to drive the Turks from our homelands. We agree? We will not risk it? Of course we'll agree. I love this. Well, maybe not love this, but we'll see what happens. If we can cut off, cut them off from Constantinople, that'd be great. They could maybe naval invade, but we'll see what happens. Just in case, are we, we're almost on training, so there's no point to wait. Just keep doing what you're doing. We got some artillery. Actually, I'm gonna throw some artillery over here. These these guys too need it. We'll have minus ten, but whatever, that's fine. It doesn't hurt our supplies too much. We've less than a thousand deficit for infantry equipment, and we're Week left for that. Happy 1912, everyone. It's only like 21 minutes into this video, and we're already in 1912. Halfway there. Nice. All right. Very good. We still can't do this. We They need to complete Great Serbia, but military staff reorganization, a bunch of land doctrine, and more army XP. Might as well. Might as well, right? Oh, let's make sure we do this, too. Yeah, we're going to be stretched quite thin. We need to make sure we actually have a stockpile of weaponry, just because <clears throat> Romania might not like us in the future. Serbia, the Ottomans, the Greeks, none of them might like us, in which we will have quite a bloody, bloody conflict in the Balkans that, well, won't be very, very good for anyone, really. There's going to be a lot of dead people in the Balkans. Not my fault, this is what they want. Oh, go ahead and keep training them, that's fine. Oh, we, yep, we deployed another division, pretty good. And the Lena Massacre, oh, in Russia, terrible, terrible. Well, it depends on who you ask. Logistics, no, that's not worth it. Close air support, sub detection, that's not worth it. Um, cavalry tactics, that's definitely a guy we need to get. But there's not much we can do. Oh, boy. Smooth talker, civilian. You know what, I'm going to wait and get smooth talker. I would like to eventually get some infrastructure as well, so we might as well wait and get that guy, because we're still building up some civilian factories. The Balkan League. The League is formed. Nice. I love the Balkan League with the Greeks, with us too, and the Montenegros. Montenegrins. How do we pronounce that? Leave faction. Victorious faction will get claim states and quarters after the conference. Huh. That's, I don't think I've seen that before. Captain of Mystery is only 10% more, but, you know, whatever. I'll still take it. Ooh, 19 divisions. Not bad. So, with the Ottomans here, we might have to force them to attack us a little bit by force them. I mean, bait them in. So, ooh. For some reason, I didn't see those divisions over there. That's fine. Yet. Yeah. Maybe instead, you guys all just, like, gang up right here. There you go, that'd be really good. Do they have a access to here to here? That might they might. This specific tile is planes, and now we are at war. Military software organization. Oh. What is this? More speed for seven days? Taking Lozen Gorab will be hard as it's heavily fortified, but open up a path Constantinople. Well, we don't really need to do that. Probably, so Bulgarian militarism. Nice! Less damage garrisons, five percent more people population. Oh, we, we, we immediately just go to war. We don't even wait for anything. Alright, whatever. I'm cool with that. Now, can we win here? The war in the Balkans is taking advantage of the weakness of the Ottoman Empire. The Balkan states have declared a war of liberation in order to expel the Turks from the Balkan Peninsula. Dong Empire, or the Dong Empire, has very little chance of stopping the offensive. Will the Ottoman Empire survive this attack? The powder keg has gone kaboom. Now, can we win against these two guys? It looks like we might be able to, but then again, we are on, like, Mass Assault Doctrine, so I don't have a lot of hope for this. Soft attack goes up, re reinforce rate goes up, let's go and grab last stand. More organization, more entrenchment, better supply grace, and better outer supply. What more could you want? Maybe a PS5, but that's just me. Seeking the Titanic, women and children first? Why? What? Women and children first? What are you talking about? Nah. Help uh, from Russia. Russia provided us with weapons for the war with the Ottomans. Our big brothers have not forgotten about us. We will be obliged to the Russians. Thank you. I love Russia. We might just not join them in their war later on. 
If that's the case, I'm going to make these guys 20 combat with because we're going to need these guys to be extra thick later on. This is really ugly how I divided these guys up. Now we're out of guns again. But made them stronger, so that's the most important thing. Cut down here, cut them off. They'll still have supplies coming through here, but we'll see what happens. <sighs> Olympic Games, we will attend. That's good. I don't mind helping you guys out here, though, since it does look like you're winning anyway, so... Ooh. Come on. Come on. You can break these auto boys. Hopefully. War propaganda. Let's go and grab that just because we've only 74% war support, which is not bad, but still. Well, we got 15 factories. Could be worse. Bulgarian militarism. That'd be nice. Can we win a battle? The, have, has anyone won a battle yet? I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Cavalry, leg infantry, soft attack. At least in this very first episode, we have a war that we can get ourselves engaged with. Now, the next episode will obviously see us in a war, probably with the other um, Balkan nations, but you might not be able to win. Just go ahead and hold for now. End of the Zinhai Revolution. Thank God the tea is safe. We'll see what happens. At least we, we took one province. Now, yeah, the hey, Republic of China. Sun Yat Sen? Oh man, you'd probably be just. He might be livid thinking about. How it's trying to turn out in today's world, but hey, that's just those. That's that's Alright, let's let these guys heal up a little bit more. We might take Adrianopole, maybe. I should really get some planes. Bulgarian militarism. Cavalry tactics, we could actually use that guy right now since we're using him quite a bit. So while cavalry started to be looked at as something outdated, Ivan Kolov provides new tactics that make it viable in modern war. Now, normally I won't choose something like that, just because we have political, we need political power for other uses and such. But since we're already at war. Oh, I can just hop to total mobilization. Actually, since we are getting more population, I might go total mobilization so that we can build as fast as humanly possible. You know what? I never choose total mobilization. Let's let's try it. Since we do get more population through our land doctrine anyways, right? Right? If we especially go mass mobilization. Because front organization, more recovery rate, more organization is not bad. There's nothing here for more defense, though, which I'm a little worried about. Less supply consumption is great. Reinforce rate, more population... We get more, 10 organization on this side, which for infantry, which is the most important thing in my mind compared to over here. Recovery rate's good. We get 5, 5, 5. Okay, so we get 15. Eh, I'm going to go focus some more on industry then. U.S. occupies Nicaragua. Okay, cool. Hope you had fun. Really do hope you had fun. So I'm, I'm going straight to total mobilization. So right now we have a total of 10%. We're, not even, we're going to still be mobilizing. Thank you. Analytical engine, very nice. What about planes? Early fighters, we might need that, so let's go do that. Now, if we attack here, this would give us more of an advantage, I would say. Like, so this way, we if we take this, we have an option to go down here, and we have an option to go down here, which I think is going to be fairly important. Hopefully, we can win, and it looks like we are, which is good. Oh, do these guys actually break in there? Nice. Yeah, I don't want to waste manpower, so we're not going to attack all willy nilly and crazy like. Oh, Greece, why? It, Ottomans have already lost 15,000, huh? I wonder if we, we might have a time limit. Hmm. Emperor Maiji is dead. Glory to the Empire. 1.71 every day. 85% war support. Not bad. We're doing not too poorly right now. Roosevelt survives an assassination attempt. Ah, oh, Bull Moose. Incredible luck. Look at that. I think we're doing pretty darn well. Selahatin Adil Pasha. Cavalry tactics, great. Command effort, let's go with doctrine efforts. Nice, good. They wiped out the cavalry again, and they're probably down here, whatever. And they came back immediately. Actually, oh, how much do you. Oh, it costs 50? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, yeah, we can win. Okay, we, we've, we've done great. I'm going straight for Constant Constantinople, or, yeah. It's not called Istanbul yet. We have to wait for Ataturk, I believe, if I remember correctly. Infantry equipment, awesome. Grab some support weapons. All right, let's come down here. Garrisons, please, thank you. And, oh, we need some more guns. Oh, good lord. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, I'm going straight for the capital. I wonder if this is actually going to work. Well, the Serbs and the, uh, oh, actually, they lost some territory. 
The Serbs and the Greeks aren't doing great. Bulgaria over here is just like, hey, you want to go to the capital? Wow, we're fighting eight divisions? Holy cow. 75, 77. Seventy-six. We might win. We might not. Seventy-seven. We ran back up. Liberation War, eh? They have a lot of manpower. A lot of divisions. It's also like a seventy-eight. The cavalry is just not looking very good. At least the enemy's cavalry. Ours is looking fairly decent. Ivan here, he's learning quite a bit, which is good. We are slowly not winning, though, which is not ideal. Hmm. Are they attacking anywhere else? Maybe not. But man, they're losing way more strength than what we're losing. 81%. 76, oh. One of the divisions retreated, and they've just come back. 80%, 79%. Yeah, I think, I'd say our cavalry is probably fairly stronger than theirs right now. How's cons- oh! We're actually building more factories, nice. After that, we're gonna build up there. Doctrine effort. And we're gonna go with this one, mass assault. Very good. Because that's what we're using. Yeah, the infantry isn't looking great now. Cavalry still starting to look like it's it's going to crack maybe a little bit. War bonds, women in the workforce. Um, well, instantly be removed if at peace. War bonds. Let's go get some war bonds. Maybe I like war bonds. War bonds are nice. Keep building more military factories. Looking not too bad. Anyone have upgrades yet? I doubt it. Losses: two thousand versus quite a bit more. Not bad. Now, how long did this war last? Oh, uh, now they're assaulting. Good, let the Turks assault. Let's see what happens. Now, we might actually be able to come down here. Well, maybe. I'd probably prefer it if you guys came over here. You should be able to win, but I could be wrong. 80, not bad, not bad. Keep it up, guys. Kolev is doing a great job so far. Got a lot of army XP. Uh, what is our support going like? 800? Oh, that's not bad. For you guys... Oh, hold on. Before we do that, let's put some military police on the garrisons first. Help put down resistance. So, now it's 800. Now it's... No less. Cool. Oh, yeah. This is getting worse and worse. Whatever. We'll fix this stuff up. You guys. Artillery. Let's grab some engineers. Good hospitals. Just throw everything on, basically. There you go. All right, we got that stuff. Let's go ahead and grab, to grab that stuff. Oh, 1912. Yeah, that stuff is okay. Artillery. Yeah, let's get better artillery. All right, so it doesn't look like we're really winning here. That's fine. We might win here, actually. And support weapons. Nice. Resource extraction. 12, 14. Plain stuff. That's 1914. Land doctrine we're still working with. Early howitzers, I don't normally choose. Eh, armored cars, why not? Mm. I'm gonna go with 5% more attack. We could really use that right now. Defense, we should be, might be okay on, so let's go with that one. Yeah, a little bit more attack. Just, just a smidgen more attack, please, thank you. Throw these guys in there because he can, throw these guys in there because he can as well. 63, I mean, our guys are learning a lot. We've, we've killed all 35,000 of them compared to 5,000 of us, so. And it's all about getting more experience. Oh, they've only five divisions now. Peace conference is over. Uh, white piece with Qatar. Oh, man, the Ottomans are doing really well. Numerical supremacy and equipment effort. Why not? Yeah, Alright, so it doesn't look like we're really winning here. That's fine. Just kind of hold for now. Give us some time. Let us get some more strength. Our cavalry have done very, very well over here. Maybe not so well over here, but that's okay. Eh, yeah, we're still fighting. Even though cavalry isn't looking very good, but they're actually pushing into Greece somehow. Because Greece just keeps on attacking like crazy. Hmm. Not good. But regardless, we'll end the episode there, and we will finish this tomorrow. Uh, let me know. Should we do mass mobilization? I'm thinking we should probably do mass mobilization. Front organization is okay. But I think the other way is better, just to get a little bit more population. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's first episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we all beat the Ottomans together. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.